25 years ago, the great Golden Gate Bridge was just taking shape. Completion was many months away, but the country watched with fascination as the spinning of the mighty cables proceeded hundreds of feet above San Francisco Bay. One of the nation's most ambitious engineering projects of its day, the majesty of the Golden Gate Bridge was apparent even before the great span was complete. Twenty-five years ago, Jack Dempsey got a champion present, a thousand-pound prize-winning steer. Jack was a restaurateur, then not a fight anymore, and the steer went from champ to chop, Prado. Twenty-five years ago, opening day at Santa Anita was highlighted by the Christmas stakes and thrills aplenty for the railbirds as top row came from behind at the finish to win the race and set a new track record. One minute, 35 and four-fifths for the mile. Nearly two and a half seconds over the present world mark. The exacting arc of three cushion billiards saw a spectacular contest between two great masters 25 years ago. Willie Hoppy in superb form, but outmatched by Welker Cochran. The lead seesawed back and forth until the 45th frame, when a sensational run by Cochran won the world's championship. Collegiate basketball a quarter of a century back, and how the game has changed. New York University, in the first big intersectional game of the season against California's Golden Bears. NYU was one of the country's top teams and dominated the game. California fought gamely, but the New Yorkers ran up a score astronomical by standards of that day, 41 to 26. A quarter of a century ago, 18-year-old Laura Roth had folks gasping whenever she tussled with her pet tiger. The Bengal was two years old, 450 pounds of muscle, and plenty frisky. No one else would trust the cat, but Miss Roth, who raised him from a cub, who said he was gentle. Fortunately, the big cat believed her. Stripesy won every fall, but toward the end, well, sir, he just up and turned tail.